Hello everybody and welcome to this training workshop on how to generate PPC clients. My name is Cody Butler and I'm going to share with you on this training exactly how I was able to generate 18 AdWords clients at $1,500 a month each in only two months and how you can do it too. So this is a brand new training. There's tons of new content on this training that I've not released publicly before. So let's talk for just a second about who I am and why I'm actually making this training today. And more importantly, what exactly are you going to get out of it? My name's Cody Butler and this is me with my right hand man here in our home office and I live in Sydney, Australia. Now I moved to Australia from the UK last year and to be honest there was no way I was getting a job when I got there. So I started a brand new business as an AdWords consultant, as a PPC consultant. Now Australia to me was a new country, I had no clients, no network, not very much money to spend on advertising so on and so forth. Now I did have a little bit of money but with no income I didn't want to spend 10k or something crazy on on ads each month when I'm living in the most expensive city in the world and I didn't really have an income at the time so that just made absolutely no sense to me at all so out of full disclosure for what's going on here I do have some previous experience quite a lot of previous experience in getting clients I had a, a very similar business in the UK which I actually closed down when I left the UK just for legal reasons and accounting reasons and stuff like that and that was in fact a very very successful business now it of course goes without saying that the results that I share with you on this training are my results and by no means are an indication of the results that you're going to get. I just want to share these with you as a, as a case study so you can see what's possible if you apply yourself. So my intentions here are just to share with you what's working for me and what's working with a lot of other people right now and hopefully you can take that, you can apply it and you can make some money as well. So the point I'm trying to make here is that when I moved to Australia is that I was starting over from scratch again. I didn't have any network or anything. I wasn't leveraging any assets. And I was doing it with a very, very minimal advertising budget as well. So what I did to get started was I joined a few forums, a few masterminds for consultants and stuff like that to receive and share ideas from other people. And after having some success, I made a post in one of the forums to just to encourage other people really who were struggling. And it said something like, so far this year, 18 new PPC clients at 1500 a month. This is turning out to be the best year ever. Well, this is the post here, and as you can probably imagine, it got a pretty huge response. Some of you may even have seen it with the uh produced a lot of questions for me about how I've done that. So on this training I'm going to share with you exactly how I did it by firstly answering the questions that I got from everybody by answering the questions that it seems like everybody wants to know the answers to, and there's about ten of them I think. And secondly by giving you some detailed training on what you must do if you want to replicate those results. And I'm going to share with you what I did and I'm going to share with you the strategies and all of that stuff on this training. I'm not going to hold anything back. This is going to be a, a really good training. So before I do that, I just want to prove to you that I'm telling the truth because it's really easy to make a lot of claims. And I think if you're going to make claims, you, you should back that up and you should prove that you're telling the truth. So this is a screenshot of my MCC, my client center with AdWords and this is where all the accounts that I manage are in and you can see that there's a whole bunch of, you know, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, something like 17 or 18, 19 accounts that you can see there and it actually goes down further. It, it got cut off and you can see too that some of these are manager accounts as well. So there's a whole bunch of, of accounts that I'm managing in my MCC right now. So you can see that I do have a bunch of accounts under management. And I also want to share with you my dashboard from Invoiced, who uh, I use for sending Invoiced out. And you can see in the past month I've billed $54,825 in uh, in AdWords fees and that's after around seven months of, of trading in Australia and uh, not just Australia I got clients all around the world but from from when I moved to Australia it took about seven months to build it up to that monthly amount so as I mentioned I did have a business in the UK and uh, I was able to generate literally hundreds of clients for myself during that business uh, I started it in around 2010 2009 something like that and over the years was able to generate a lot of clients and I've also helped many other people people like George from Clear Ads who said Code has been amazing we've been working with him for over 12 months now and we're very impressed with the results we have won a considerable amount of new business as a direct result of what he has done for us or Nick who said boom just landed my first client from Code's LinkedIn strategy 3k setup fee $1,500 a month management fee now you can see a lot more here on the uh, there's a link here on the screen you can you can have a look at more on your own time if you want to but you get the idea right so as you can see I've pretty much master the art of getting clients and I can certainly help you do the same thing if you'd like to help and that's what we're going to cover over the next uh, 45 minutes to an hour or so. 
So I wanted to show you all of that really for just one reason and that's so that you can see that I actually practice what I preach, that I do have a lot of PPC clients myself, that uh, I am coming from a place of congruency and I don't only teach how to generate PPC clients, it is actually a very substantial part of my income and it's a very substantial part of my business and I do this full time myself, this is a very good chunk of my business and I'm actually living what I'm talking to you about here every single day, I'm actually doing it, I'm applying it and you can check me out online I'm sure you can find me and you'll see for yourself that what I'm about to share with you is what I'm actually doing so as I said PPC actually makes a very very significant part of my income now all of that's out the way now you know who I am what I do what I potentially can do for you and that I'm telling the truth now let's just dive straight into this training and get to the stuff that you're interested in the stuff that's going to actually make you some money so what I want to do is I want to start out by answering the questions that I most frequently get asked if you remember after I made that Facebook post a lot of people asked me questions and these were the questions that that I really got asked a lot so this part is for those who've never been on a training with me before if you've been on a training before you may have seen me answer these questions but if you have been on one of those trainings with me don't worry about it we're going to jump into a lot more detail on what's really going to move the dial in your business here very soon so once we get through these frequently asked questions we're going to get into a ton of brand new content that previously has been for premium clients only I think you're really going to enjoy it and you're going to really be able to take advantage of it so we're going to get to that in just a minute so my goal here is by the end of the training is that you're going to have a much, much clearer idea as to what you actually need to do to enroll high ticket PPC clients. Now, I say PPC clients because that's what I do. I do PPC, right? But this is going to work for any digital discipline. We can say SEO, social media, uh, consultancy clients, anything like that. And it can be a done for you service or it can be a consultancy service. So when I say PPC, like I said, I just say that because that's what I do and that's what I'm familiar with. But I, I use those words. I use that term interchangeably. So let's start with the big picture of what's going on and then as we go on we're going to come back and we're going to start to fill in all the little details as we go so let's start with the 10 most common questions that I get asked and then we're going to build it up from there so the most common questions are one what prospecting method are you using now the, the quick answer is LinkedIn and direct mail like I say we're going to come back and talk about these a little bit more the second question is can I get a copy of the direct mail that you're using now you should already have a copy if you've given that yesterday or the day before to you so you should have a copy of a direct mail piece but we'll talk more about that as we go as well question number three is will this work for anybody will this work for me and what if I don't have any case studies well we're going to talk about that question number four how much am I spending to get each client I'm going to share my stats with you question number five does the $1,500 per month include ad spend or is that just the fee we're going to talk about that number six am I using Facebook ads to get PPC clients it's a good question question number seven do I target existing AdWords advertisers or do I target new advertisers that's another great question. Number eight, what's your LinkedIn strategy? And uh, LinkedIn's huge, by the way, so we're going to spend a little bit of time talking about that. Nine, what kind of conversion rates are you getting? Now I'm going to share with you my stats as, as we get into that. And question number 10 is, can you help me get clients too? And of course, we're going to cover that as well as we go. So the answers to those questions are as follows. The question is, what prospecting methods am I using? Now, as I said, I'm using predominantly LinkedIn and direct mail. Now, the reason I like these, let's start with direct mail, is one, because it's very cheap, right? So relatively speaking, compared to advertising on AdWords, advertising on Facebook, something like that, you're going to be able to do it for 10 to $15 a day, and you're going to be able to get some significant results for that, whereas you're probably not going to be able to do that with paid media like Facebook and stuff like that. The second reason I like DM is that it's a very low barrier to entry. It's very easy, right? It's not, it's not technical at all. If you can lick a stamp and address an envelope, you're good to go that's all you need it's very very effective it's extremely effective and it's a very very quick sales cycle or at least it can be anyway so quite often the sales cycle can be less than 48 hours you can send out a mail on Monday set up a consultation Tuesday have the consultation Wednesday and boom the the invoice is going out money's in your bank account it can be as little as 48 hours for that to happen now let's talk about LinkedIn the reason I like LinkedIn is because the search features are really good. Once you've got your ideal client avatar, your customer avatar figured out, then it's going to be really easy to search those people out on LinkedIn and approach them directly, which is really, really good. It's virtually free. So this is probably your lowest cost form of marketing, right? So it's going to cost you, you do need really a premium account, which is going to cost you like 60 bucks a month or something like that, somewhere in that range. Works really good. That's always a good reason to do something right. It's working. 
it's it's pretty it's pretty time leveraged so you can spend less than 30 minutes a day on it that's what I like about it as well and once you've got the winning strategy once you've actually figured out how to use LinkedIn and it's really not very difficult then it's a pretty scalable idea it's a pretty scalable model you can use so that those are the reasons why I use LinkedIn and direct mail now these two methods alone they can take your business to a million dollars plus a year I have no doubt right so just these two methods you don't need to go any further than that it's going to get you to where you need to be or where you want to be so moving on the second question can I get a copy of the direct mail letter that you're using well you should already have a copy of a direct mail piece that I've used in the past it's been very very successful for me and for my clients and uh, as I mentioned in the video licensed that to a number of private clients for ninety six hundred dollars and you've got that so if you use that uh, if you've seen uh, I sent a couple of training videos out over the last few days so if you haven't seen that go back and check your email there should be a video in there the actual letter that I'm using currently then I, I, I saved that for my private clients I've got to save some value back for for my private clients but we're going to talk about more about the direct mail and how to get that even better as we continue if you can take some of the principles that we're going to talk about in this workshop and you can apply it to the direct mail then you're going to get some really fantastic results you're going to really supercharge the results you get now as I say the current direct mail piece unfortunately that's only available for my private clients as uh, they're paying for that and I've got to hold that value back for them so question number three is will this work for anybody well the answer to that the short answer is no it will work for anybody if you're willing to specialize if you're not willing to specialize it won't so the answer is no to get results like this you've got to be willing to specialize in a specific niche if you're not willing to do that then this is probably not going to work very well for you but if you are this is going to work beautifully well for anybody that actually is willing to specialize and don't be too afraid of that because it's going to become very clear as we go why that's a very good idea and why it makes a lot of sense to do it you're going to be very clear on that you're going to have some clarity by the time we finish as I say all is going to become clear so as a general consultant who works in many niches or any niche really then it's actually going to be much much harder for you to generate business it's going to be harder one for you to get clients in the first place and it's going to be especially difficult for you to charge any kind of decent fees if you're not specialized in a niche and again as we as this unfolds you're going to be very clear on why that's the case and I think some of the fear and confusion that surrounds this is going to start to disappear if you're just starting out and you don't have any results any case studies stuff like that if that's what you're worried about then don't worry that's not really a problem at all I'm going to share with you exactly what to do if that's your challenge and uh, again specializing is going to help that it's not going to hurt it so stay with me and that's going to all become very clear later on in this training question number four is how much am I currently spending to get each client well the simple answer to that question is with LinkedIn I'm not really spending anything it's virtually nothing right all I'm doing is I have a premium account which I think is 60 or 65 dollars a month somewhere in that vicinity and that's it really sometimes I buy some extra in mails but that's not very much money relatively speaking it's pretty cheap so LinkedIn costing virtually nothing to acquire clients it's just my time like I say premium account 60 bucks a month with direct mail it's uh, it's a little bit different I, I'm finding that each mail piece costs me approximately a dollar fifty to send out somewhere in that range so it's costing a little bit more but it's still for a dollar fifty you're putting a uh, your message in front of somebody that is a potentially a very good match with you, potentially a client. And look, you're not going to get a click online anywhere for $1.50. So to put your message in front of the right person, $1.50 is dirt cheap for that. And I would say, you know, it's taking on average probably 40 to 50 pieces to get one client, something like that. It, it varies. So you're looking at around roughly $75 per client with direct mail. So if you look at the numbers on that, a client at $1,500, which is the bare minimum that I would advise you charge and it's the bare minimum that I charge generally it's considerably more than that these days then if you can retain that client for 12 months then that $75 investment is actually turning into $18,000 so it's a crazy crazy return on investment it's a highly efficient highly effective way to market your business now the next question question number five is does that $1,500 per month include ad spend or is that just my fee well that's my fee that's it right so I want to get a bare minimum of $1,500 a month in my bank account after all of the expenses that are actually involved in uh, delivering the service. So uh, I charge a percentage of ad spend usually as well because I want $1,500, like I say, to be mine and the 10% covers the uh, the other fees that are involved like hosting and landing pages and stuff like that. So what I do is I have clients add their billing details directly to the AdWords account and uh, like I said, I generally charge 10% fee 10% uh, of ad spend as well to cover core tracking costs and hosting costs of the landing pages all of that $1,500 a month fee let me tell you rarely poses a problem 
if you're marketing your services properly and in fact it's it's easy to charge much much more than that if you have if you're struggling with charging high fees or you don't think you can charge high fees it's because your marketing is ineffective and we're going to look at that and like I say as this training unfolds and we go on it's hopefully going to be crystal clear why not only it's desirable to charge high fees it's easier to get more clients and you really should be charging high fees as well and that's going to become very clear we're going to cover exactly how to charge premium fees before the end as I've said so next question is am I using Facebook ads to get AdWords clients well the answer to that question is I do but I don't advise it right away so it's part of a bigger picture it's not the picture right now the reason that I don't advise that you use Facebook right away is a couple of reasons it's expensive it's complex it's very easy to blow a lot of money fast and it's always changing so if you're in the situation that I was in where you're starting out a business or you don't have too many clients yet and you don't want to blow through a whole bunch of money then LinkedIn and direct mail is going to be a better way to go. It's going to be more cost effective. It's going to be lower risk and it's going to be lower barrier to entry. And to be honest, it's probably more effective as well. But I do use Facebook, I'll be honest. Uh, I, I do like it and uh, I've got nothing bad to say about it. It's just something that I would use down the road. Not Now, I would use Facebook, like I say, probably after you're at the, the 10K a month point where you've got a little bit of cash flow to make it make it work well for you. Start with the lower risk methods. That's That's what I would advise to start with. So... As I say, Facebook offers it offers a lot of leverage. You can really grow a business quickly once you've got everything sorted out. But you only want to do that after you're really cashed up or if you're willing and able to take on a lot more risk. You can lose a lot of money on Facebook as well. Question number seven is, do I target existing AdWords advertisers or new? The answer to that question is both, right? There are advantages and disadvantages to both. The direct mail piece that I've given you already, that's for those targeting those who already advertise, but both work really well. So the only problem sometimes with targeting existing advertisers is that you're going to be price compared. So if there's an incumbent agency or an incumbent consultant that's managing prospective clients campaign already, then your price is going to be compared to their price and they're probably going to be considerably cheaper than you, right? So if they're charging $500 a month and you're going in telling them that it's going to be $1,500 a month, then you've got some work to do to show that discrepancy in price, right? So that's the problem with existing advertisers. With new advertisers, you don't really have that problem, but they're not advertising either. So you've got a different challenge there. So the answer to the question is both can work really well, but it does take slightly different approaches to make it work. But like I say, it's all easily overcome. It's uh, This stuff is not terribly difficult. So question number eight is what's your strategy with LinkedIn? And as I said earlier on, LinkedIn's huge. It's really, really good way to generate business. It doesn't cost a huge amount of money and it's, it's a great way to grow your business, right? So LinkedIn's about getting people's attention is what it's about. It's about being personal. So you want to start by asking questions and stop making statements. The mistake that a lot of people make is they just like to make statements when really you should be asking questions. So you don't want to be making just big, you don't want to be making statements on, on LinkedIn like, Cody Butler, direct response marketing expert, or Cody Butler, digital marketing expert, something like that. You want to ask people a question, you know, like get people engaged. If, if you make a statement at somebody, you just, you're just just talking at them. If you ask them a question, you get them engaged. So asking questions on LinkedIn is actually a really good way to engage people and, and get the conversation going. But at the end of the day, this is about direct response marketing. It's not about starting groups, lead nurturing, having conversations and all of that stuff, right? We want a methodology that's very low effort comparatively and has got a very fast turnaround on it so pretty much it's about really engaging the person with a targeted message so as I say you want you want really fast turnaround on this stuff right because you want to get clients in the door quickly and if you look at what Chris has said here I could kiss you bro I'm getting more inquiries connections and messages in the past hour than I have all month with that other program started at 9 a.m. this morning and I'm already in conversations with several leads so you can see that it, you can start the conversation and you can generate leads really, really quickly with LinkedIn, which is why I love it. It's a great way to get started. Question number nine is what kind of conversion rates am I getting? So again, I'm just sharing with you my results here. So I'm not saying these are going to be your results or these are typical results. I, I don't know if they're typical or not. I'm, I'm just sharing with you my results so you can see what I've done to give you a bit of a case study here and a bit of a bit of a benchmark. As I say, this is for case study purposes. So for the direct mail, typically I'm going to send out 10 letters and 
I'm hoping to get one consultation out of that. I'm hoping to get, you know, one, I'm hoping to speak to one person on the phone. That's the goal that I'm going for there. And that generally, that generally comes about. Sometimes it's a little bit less, but it varies from week to week. You know, it's, it, there's not a massive amount of consistency in it from week to week, but I'm looking for one out of 10 to turn into a consultation. So my numbers are seven out of 10 of those consultations are, are probably going to turn into clients, right? So if I send out 50 letters, a week then that can turn into two to three clients on average and that's going to be about 90 minutes a day and as I say it's like I'm pretty experienced with the sales side of things I'm pretty experienced with the marketing side of things and all that so I'm not saying that that's the results you're going to get but those are some targets that you can shoot for as I say I'm pretty experienced with the sales part of it so one of my clients here Nick has said just closed first client from the direct mail template on to the next so as you can see it's like other, other people are getting good results with this stuff as well but let's remember even two to three clients per month is amazing which you know I'm saying two to three clients a week you just don't need two to three clients per week so even really one client per month is going to equate to an extra eighteen thousand dollars per month of income after 18 months you got to remember this is reoccurring revenue and the numbers really start to compound very quickly so the number of new clients you actually need to make a lot of money it, it's really very small you don't need to get massive results here to start to produce a pretty significant income when you're charging premium fees so if even if we're ultra conservative on the response and the conversion rate and saying that the conversion rates that I got are completely unrealistic let's let's dumb it down and be really conservative with it you still got a six figure business in in about 6 months if you can add one client a month something like that you know then you're going to be able to build your business up to a six figure business very very quickly now that's really one of the big benefits of premium pricing is that you just don't need to get a whole bunch of clients to really have a have a, a great business so let's just look very quickly at what some of the other benefits of premium pricing are as well firstly it's going to be considerably considerably easier for you to get clients if you're charging much higher fees now i know that sounds backwards and you're probably going what how, how can you how can it be easier to get more clients if you're charging more just stick with me trust me it's all going to become clear i'm going to go through this and and uh, hopefully you're gonna you're gonna the pen is gonna drop and you're gonna get it and you're gonna be able to apply this stuff and it's gonna make your life a whole lot easier. The second reason that premium pricing is a good idea is because you just need a lot less clients, right? If you're charging four or five hundred dollars a month, you just you need twenty or thirty clients to get to six figures. If you're charging fifteen hundred a month, you only need like what is it like six clients or seven clients to get to six figures? You need considerably less right so the end result is that you don't need a lot of clients to make a lot of money and that can only be a good thing right if you can get your business to where you want it to be with a heck of a lot less clients then that can only be a good thing right so let's continue let's talk about the results that I'm getting on LinkedIn so typically I'm going to contact around 20 people per day that's going to be my goal and usually let's just say typically again these numbers are going to vary from day to day week to week but one, one out of 20 people I get to engage with me one out of 20 people I have a conversation LinkedIn's a little bit lower conversion rate for some reason uh, not exactly sure why but it is but so I'm going to get typically probably about three out of ten one in three are going to buy from me that I have a conversation with on LinkedIn so what that works out at is we're looking at approximately every 60 people I contact uh, are going to result in a client now let's have a quick look at what Phil had to say about LinkedIn in our private Facebook group man I just sent like 35 LinkedIn messages and literally within 20 minutes I got like 10 responses nothing new to you I'm sure and he's absolutely right that's nothing new to me at all all my clients 10 leads in 35 minutes well even with only a 10% close rate you still got one client right if you can only close 10% one out of 10 you're still getting one client and if you can retain that client for a year assuming you offer a good good service that's eighteen thousand dollars now I just want to say like the, the, these type of results with LinkedIn and stuff like that these these results are not rare they're not one-offs they're not like just the odd person here or there gets them again look look at what Will had to say after one week I had a great call with a prospect the CEO gave me the yes on the phone for two thousand dollars that's up that's after one week of uh, working LinkedIn so once you have a working system to generate leads then as you can hopefully start to see it gets pretty easy to grow your business pretty quickly right and the reason for that is because you know exactly what you have to do on a daily basis you can plan and you can schedule your growth now as I said my numbers are my numbers and they're not necessarily going to be your numbers but after working this system for a short period of time you're going to know your numbers you're going to know how many mails you need to send out to get a consultation how many consultations you need to have to get a client and same with LinkedIn right so 
once you've got those numbers you just reverse engineer and work backwards from there so you can now start to really plan your weekly and monthly marketing activity to make sure that you hit your growth goals every month and instead of hoping and wishing for it you've actually now got a business you actually know what to do you've got a marketing plan you've got a marketing strategy you've got something you can actually count upon rely upon you've got something on the calendar and you've got a schedule of activity that's going to bring in a steady flow of clients and it's going to bring in a steady flow of income and that's to be perfectly honest is what most people are missing in this business they're missing steady income and they're missing a steady flow of clients if you can uh, if you can get those you're in good shape right so when you've got that you can just stop worrying about getting clients it's not something you need to worry about anymore and you don't have to freak out if you lose one. Now, I've been in that position for a long time where I lose a client, I just freak out, especially if it's a good client. Especially starting out, early days of an agency, early days of a consultancy, we're typically going to have you know a handful of clients that make up the majority of our income, right? So if you lose that one client or you lose those two clients, right, that really make up the bulk of your income, it's just freak out time. So when you know how to generate clients, when you know you can generate high ticket business, you don't need to freak out anymore. You can just relax a little bit because you know for a fact that you've got more clients coming through the door very soon, right? So having a systematic way you know works is like having oxygen in your business. It's like you can breathe, right? You can take a deep breath, you can chill out and you can relax because you know that part of your life, you know that part of your business is handled. You don't you're not dependent on any one person anymore. You're not dependent on any one client. You're not dependent on anyone anything. It's like you you know that whatever happens when it comes to generating clients, you're going to be able to deal with it, right? So you can just relax a little bit and just know that everything's going to be okay. And that's really a wonderful place to be because it just takes all of the stress out of the equation. And at the end of the day, you didn't go into business just to be stressed out all the time. So when you get to this point where you're confident that you can generate business on demand and you're just not freaked out and stressed out about it anymore, that's when you can really start to experience the stress-free abundance in your life and in your business on a daily basis, which, you know, to be honest, if you're like myself and you're like most people, that's why we've gone into business for ourselves. That's why we've decided to take this route that, let's be honest, is not the easiest route to go down. It's challenging. And we can experience those benefits on a daily basis and not just in your business but in every aspect of your life you can't separate your business life and your personal life if you're stressed out at work you're stressed out at home too so that's not a good thing for anyone right so question number 10 can you help me do the same thing you're doing and the answer to that question is yes yes I can help you so if you're ready to really start growing your business if you're serious about it if you're ready to take action then absolutely I can help you and we're going to talk about that at the end of this workshop at the end of this trading uh, I, what I can offer you is the exact same system that I'm using um, I can let you 100% inside my business I can work with you to do exactly the same things that I'm doing I can give you the same templates uh, the same strategies the same methodology all of that stuff and if you're interested in learning about that, then stick around. We're, we're going to talk about that at the end of this training. But before that, there's lots more to learn. So we're just actually getting started here. We've just covered the 10 questions. And now we're actually going to get into some stuff that you can take and really apply into your business and, and start to see the results immediately, hopefully. So as I say, that's the top 10 questions covered. Now let's look at what you can do right now that if you do it, if you get it, if the penny drops, it's going to revolutionize how you do business from now on. So let's start by talking about that fee structure, for example. Let's talk about that because I know everybody's thinking or a lot of people are thinking, you know, how, do, how does that work? You'd raise your fees and it gets easier. Uh, how do you charge premium fees? How do you do it, right? So let me ask the question. Who wants to charge premium fees? Who wants to charge higher fees than they do currently but just doesn't think it's possible? Well, let me share something. As I've said, it's actually easier to get clients if your fees are premium than if they're discounted. Now, let me explain. Let's go into some detail and let's start with the high level view as to why this is the case. If you can understand why, it's going to make it very easier to do, right? So this is a point, a key point that I really want you to internalize. When results matter to a business, when the results matter, when the results are important, when the results are significant, the fee matters. The fee makes a difference. So when that's the case, when the fee, when, when the result is significant, when you lower your price, that's actually going to be a very big turnoff to the prospects who need your help the most and are actually, in reality, the ones who are most likely to move forward, the most likely to hire you. In other words, your hottest leads are going to be turned off by low prices. 
So let me use an analogy to really bring this home. So I think this will make this really clear to you. So if you're about to be pushed out of an airplane at say 20,000 feet, something like that, and you don't have a parachute, there's no parachute. If there's a guy standing on the back of the plane and you're given the opportunity to buy one of two parachutes, do you want to buy one of them? Well, of course you do. You're getting ready to get pushed out of a plane, right? You need a parachute. But which one do you want to buy? There's two. You've got two to choose from. Well, let me give you a little bit more information about these parachutes and see if you can make up your mind from this. The first parachute is $25. It's a, it's a real bargain, very discounted. It's uh, 25 bucks. The second parachute that he's holding is $5,000. And he says, hey, look, I've got a great deal, $25, or I've got this over here. It's a premium parachute. It's the best money you can buy. It's $5,000. Which one do you want to buy now? Which one do you want? You're getting ready to get pushed out of a plane at 10,000 feet. Do you want the $25 parachute or do you want the $5,000 parachute? Well, if you're like most people, the answer to that question is you're going to want the $5,000 parachute, right? Why is that? Because the reason you want the $5,000 parachute is because, as we've said, and the point that I asked you to internalize is when results matter, the price matters. So hopefully that makes it a little bit clearer, but we can summarize it as this. Price equals trust in the prospect's mind. Can you trust the $25 parachute? particularly if you've got a $5,000 one next to it, or are you thinking, what's wrong with this? Why is it cheap? Why is it so cheap and the other one's expensive? And the second question is, what are the consequences if that parachute doesn't open? Can you take that risk? If you buy a cheap parachute and it doesn't perform, what are the consequences and can you take that risk? Well, the, the same is true with a consultant or a service provider such as yourself or such as myself. So if we're dealing with a business who metaphorically is on the back of that plane getting ready to get pushed out and they absolutely need a parachute, they need a good outcome, they need a result, who do they trust? Do they trust the consultant or the service provider who's charging $250 a month or do they trust the service provider or consultant who's charging $2,500 a month? You see, price is very important after all. If a business absolutely has to have that result, and like I say, that's going to be your best prospect. They're the ones that are going to make a decision quickly. They're going to move forward. Then they're going to be very price sensitive, right? But they're going to be price sensitive just in the opposite direction to what most people think they are. See, the only time a lower price is going to be more attractive is when the results are not very important to the person who's buying them, right? So when it doesn't matter to the person if you let them down or not. So if you're on the ground and you have to buy a parachute and you've got a $5,000 one or a $25 parachute, the fact that you're on the ground and you're not going to have to use the parachute, you don't care if it opens or not, you don't care if it works or not. Now the $25 parachute is attractive, right? So the cheaper price is only important if the results are not very important or the prospect simply has no money and cheap is all they can afford. Look, if you're on the back of a plane and, and you simply don't have five grand, you're going to buy that $25 parachute just because the $25 parachute is better than no parachute at all, right? So if somebody's got absolutely no money, then they're going to go for cheap. But neither one of those is a good fit for us, right? If, if the prospect we're talking to doesn't care if we let them down, they don't care if we get the results or not, well, that's a problem. They're not a very good client. Or if they've just flat out got no money, and they can't afford a premium service, then that's not very good either. We don't want to be working with clients that have no money. If you deal with broke people, you're going to be broke. That's all there is to it. If you want to become wealthy, you have to deal with wealthy people. If you want to be successful in business, you have to align yourself with successful businesses, right? Just makes just makes sense. So if you are currently attracting tar kickers into your business, if you're attracting time vampires and all that stuff, lots of undesirables, then this is going to be at least in part to the fact you're probably too cheap. Your price is attracting the wrong people. Your price is appealing to the wrong people. You're calling out to people that don't need your service, don't really care if they get the results, or they've just got no money. All of those are bad news. We don't want any of those. Now, there are definitely other reasons why you might be attracting those people into your business as well. It's not just a case of raise your price and that's it, you know, job done. There, there are other things as well. It's a little bit more complicated than that. But we're going to get to that as we go on. We're going to talk about some of the other reasons as well. But first, when you raise your price, three things are going to happen in your business. One, you're going to make more money for less work, right? You do the same amount of work, you make more money, or you do more work and you make a lot more money. Second thing is you're going to actually attract much, much better clients for, for reasons that hopefully are starting to become apparent. 
clients that are willing to move forward quickly, clients that have funds, clients that are going to be appreciative of what you're doing, all of that kind of stuff. And three, you're going to create enough margin for outsourcing. Now, that's really, really important, right? So uh, at $500 a month, there's simply no money available to outsource the fulfillment. Higher fees are going to give your business room for unlimited growth. They're going to give your business room for a lot of scale, right? So if you're only charging five hundred dollars a month, then you're going to you're going to pay three hundred or four hundred, maybe even five hundred to an outsourcing company, and and very best, you know, your margin is going to be like twenty percent. Whereas you know, fifteen hundred dollars, you've got lots of room for margin there. So continuing on, as we've already said, if you want prospects to say yes to you on a regular basis. And I know you do. That's why you're on this training, right? That's why you showed up. And that's why, you know, 40 some minutes into it, you're still here because you want clients to say yes to you. Then absolutely positively, something has to be present. And what is that? Well, the answer to that question is urgency. There's got to be urgency. So if you're on the back of that plane and you're getting ready to get pushed out, what kind of urgency is there to find a solution? And as we've said, when the urgency is there and the result matters, then the price matters as well. So urgency is very, very important. We want to deal with people that there's urgency for them to get our solution. There has to be urgency for a solution to a painful problem. So if urgency is present in the situation, then one, the prospect is going to make a fast decision. They're not going to think about it for three months. How long would it take you to think about buying a parachute on the back of a plane? And two, the price is going to matter in your favor, as we've already discussed. So we only want to be approaching prospects who are metaphorically getting ready to be pushed out of the back of that plane, right? They urgently need a solution, which hopefully you offer. And this is what it looks like. So in that situation, when, when the, the, the client that you're talking to is getting ready to get pushed out of a plane and your competitor is offering a solution for $25 and you're offering a solution for $5,000, then it's going to work in your favor, right? So this is why clients that I've worked with, like Chris and Phil, who we talked about, get such fast responses. Look at what Phil said here. Just sent 35 messages and literally within 20 minutes, 10 responses. That's probably more leads than most people have generated in a month, really. Look at what Chris said. I'm getting more inquiries, connections, and messages in the past hour than I have all month with the other program. Started at nine, already in conversation with several leads. It happens in real time. You can start to generate these leads in real time because they're on the back of a plane getting ready to get pushed off, right? They need a parachute. So when we intercept them at that point, it's very favorable for us. So that's what happens when you're talking to the right people at the right time. It doesn't take a long time to get them interested and it doesn't take a long time to get them into the sales process. So what we want to do is only target prospects, as we've said many times now, metaphorically on the back of that plane getting ready to get pushed out. Look, if you sell parachutes on the back of a plane, I'm here to tell you that you're never going to hear, I need to think about it ever again. You're not going to hear those type of things. You're not going to hear those objections, right? Because you're offering a very urgent solution to a very painful problem, which is also why, as we said earlier on, I've never heard of you really isn't a problem. If you're dealing with the right people and you're talking to them at the right time and you're offering the right solution, your lack of reputation, your lack of case studies really isn't going to be significant at all simply because the person you're talking to is really much more concerned about themselves and their situation than they are about you and your situation, right? So if you're still worried about your inexperience, if you're still worried about a lack of case studies, then let me share another analogy with you that really should, should make this crystal clear. So if the prospect that you're talking to has been three days in a desert and they haven't had any water to drink whatsoever, they're about to die, how much experience do you need to sell that prospect a glass of water? You've got someone in a desert who's dying of thirst and you stood there with a glass of water selling it. How much experience do you need to achieve that? Well, the answer to that question is about none, right? You don't need any experience to sell it to them. How often do you really think that they're going to ask you questions like, I'm really interested in your water, but where did you get your hydration qualifications from? Or, I'm really interested in your water, but can I please speak with three people you've successfully hydrated first? Or, are you Evian certified? No, that's not going to happen. That's never going to happen because they need a solution and they need it right now, right? So if you offer that solution, if you offer a glass of water to somebody who's dying of thirst, then happy days for you. That's going to solve a lot of the problems that people experience when it comes to inexperience and case studies and stuff like that. It, it all comes down to audience selection. It all comes down to time and messaging, all that stuff, right? So obviously, we've got to set this up properly. We've got to set our position in that properly. So it's not a case of uh, just saying, hey, 
I'm expensive, hire me. That's not really how it works either. So it's a little bit more complicated than that. But that's a relatively simple task to do, right? So as you can see that your history, or lack of it in some cases, it's really not going to present too much of a problem at all, right? If you're positioning yourself right, if you're approaching the right people, and if you're doing this the proper way. So so what's more important actually than, than the fact that you have a history, you have case studies and stuff like that, is the fact that you need to be presentable and you need to look the part. And let me make this point by asking you this question. When did you last ask a doctor to see his license to practice medicine? Or have you just always assumed that he's qualified simply because he looks like a doctor and he claims to be one? The same is true for the prospect. They're going to assume the same about you if you set it up right. If you look like a doctor, if you act like a doctor, if you're advertising yourself as a doctor, you talk like a doctor, you walk like a doctor, chances are the prospect's going to think you're a doctor, right? So same is true for you. It's how you look, which is another word for positioning, right? Positioning is very important. How you set this up is going to determine what your prospect thinks about you and as long as you're setting it up right then your lack of history your lack of experience really isn't going to be that big of a deal right so hopefully you can see that client acquisition it's really going to be about proper prospect selection and it's going to be about proper positioning this is where I'm going with all this stuff right which is why I like direct mail and LinkedIn a lot and it's why they're powerful and it's why they're very very successful because both of those methodologies both of those routes to market we're able to be very, very selective about who we approach. So as you can see here, this is just a, a, a screenshot of a LinkedIn search feature in premium account. You can, we, we got some really great search features, right? So we can target only partners or owners. We can target company size. We can go through and there's a whole bunch more search features there that we can use. I just want to show you a couple of them, right? So we can get started. So once we know who our ideal prospect is, then we're able to really search that person out with the features that LinkedIn has available and we're able to reach them directly. We're able to reach the prospect very, very cost effectively and LinkedIn's going to help us out by identifying who those people are and of course our success rate is going to be really high but we're not done yet so there's still a couple more pieces of the puzzle that I want to give you before we finish up on this training. Now the next important piece of the puzzle is that you must specialize in a niche, right? So we said earlier on, right, when the question was, can anybody do this? The answer was no, you can only do it if you're willing to specialize. Well, let's talk about that for a second and why it's an absolute must that you need to specialize if you want to utilize the methodology that I'm explaining to you here. The reason is because people hire consultants to solve specific problems, not general problems, right? So this is critical in charging premium fees. If you miss this part, you can do everything else right, but if you miss this part, then it's not going to work for you. You're going to hear you're too expensive a whole bunch, right? So let's look at an illustration again to uh, bring this home. I like illustrations. And makes it really easy to understand right so let's talk about medical doctors again because we've already been talking about those a little bit so if heaven forbid you were diagnosed with something very serious like liver cancer or something like that would you want to see a general practitioner doctor a GP just a general doctor who's on the corner of every street in every city or would you want to go see a cancer specialist do you want to see a generalist or do you want to see a specialist if you've got a specific problem well, let's take that one step further. I'm sure the answer to that question is you want to see a cancer specialist, but let's go one step further. And would you want to see a cancer specialist or would you want to see a liver cancer specialist, bearing in mind that you've been diagnosed with liver cancer? Well, pretty obvious, right? You're going to want to see a liver cancer specialist. There's no doubt about it. Let's continue it one step further again. You've decided that you need to see a liver cancer specialist and you've got two available to you in your town. You've got Dr. A and you've got Dr. B. These are your choices. Dr. A is $2,500. Dr. A says, hey, yep, definitely can help you out. We can get you uh, all fixed up. It's going to cost you $2,500. No problem at all. Or Dr. B says, yep, definitely we can we can help you with this. I'm very experienced in this uh, type of cancer and um, very high success rate. We can definitely help you out here. It's going to be $60,000. Which one do you want? Which one do you want to treat you? Well, again, the answer is pretty obvious, right? If you're like most people, you're going to want to go with Dr. B for sure that price is going to be very, very reassuring. Now, the other question is, how price sensitive are you at this point? Are you more concerned about the cost of the treatment or are you more concerned about the effectiveness and the quality of the treatment, which is your primary concern? See, the result in that situation is going to be a much, much bigger concern than the cost of the result. So you want the result, you need the result 
it's very unlikely that you're going to say, well, I'd love your treatment. Uh, I, I can see the value and I really want it, but I'm just going to have to wait a few months until I've got the money. No, that's just not going to happen. Of course, you're not going to say that. You're finding the money one way or another, right? Because there's urgency present in your problem. If you've got to sell your house, if you've got to take out a second mortgage, if you've got to borrow the money, if you've got to get credit cards, it doesn't matter. When you've got an urgent problem that you need a solution to, you're going to go to the most qualified specialist and you're going to pay whatever it is they're asking to get your problem solved. So another question I'd like to pose to you here as well is, how hard is it for the liver cancer specialist to sell you on the idea that you should work with him or her? How much selling do they have to do? The answer is there's absolutely no sales needed at all. It's very easy. You understand that you have a problem. You understand that you need a solution. You're not particularly price sensitive to that solution to some degree. There's always limitations to that, of course. And you're actively seeking out a solution. So, in fact, as I say, you're probably seeking out that cancer specialist, that liver cancer specialist. He's not even really looking for you. You're looking for him, right? So, most people think that if they specialize, it's going to hurt them. But completely the opposite is true in reality. So, if we bring this back to your business and, and how this is going to apply to your business, most people will only pay a very small amount to work with a generalist. If we take it back to general doctor, you're not going to pay very much money to go to see a general doctor. You, the money is going to be paid to the specialist. If you're going to pay $60,000 to the medical industry, it's going to be to a specialist within that industry, right? When you've got a very specific problem and you need a solution, you see when people are looking for a generalist or when people are willing to pay for a generalist, there's really very little desire in that person and there's really going to be no urgency for them to move forward. There's really going to be no urgency for them to take a solution. But what about the specialist? What if, what if you're a specialist? Well, if you're a specialist, then the people that you're talking to, they're going to be willing to pay much higher fees. There's going to be a much higher level of urgency to take action. And there's going to be a lot of desire present in the transaction, right? So I can summarize it all like this. The generalist has, one, very low appeal and two, commands very low fees. The specialist has one very high appeal and two, commands very high fees. So the same is going to be exactly true for you as a digital consultant as it is for the medical industry and every other industry, right? So if you're not willing to specialize, if you don't see the value in specializing or if it's too scary for you, then unfortunately I have to say you're probably going to struggle, one, to get clients and two, definitely to charge premium fees, that's for sure. I mean, you can go on Upwork or freelance or something like that and get a bunch of clients for $150, $200 a month. But forget about charging premium fees if you're not willing to specialize. It's just, you know, I don't know how to do it and I don't know anybody that knows how to do it. So what do you do if you're new to this and you don't have a niche to specialize or you don't have any case studies to use or anything like that? Some of the things that are going to be advantageous to you using this methodology. Well, the easiest thing to do is going to be to stand on the shoulders of those who do have experience, those who do have case studies and stuff like that. So what you what you want to do if you're in that situation is find a contractor who does have experience in the niche that you want to work in and that's pretty easy to do you know we can talk at a later day about how to do that if you want to but uh, find somebody who does have experience in the area you want to specialize and ask if you can use their results and ask if you can use their case studies uh, quite often they're going to let you do that and that's going to give you some confidence and that's going to give you a great starting point now for my private clients I do have a service that I recommend that can provide those type of services for you now they don't only deliver the product completely they do a fantastic job of that they deliver landing pages core tracking uh, management of the campaigns all that kind of stuff pretty much everything you need reporting so on and so forth it's really an ideal solution to the product delivery side of things and it also solves all of the credibility problems that most people face if you're just starting out right so it can also provide you with a lot of confidence in what you're doing if you've got something or somebody behind you that can support you and gives you confidence in selling the product then that's going to do wonderful things to your confidence and that's going to do wonderful things to your client acquisition as well so let's talk about implementing all of this stuff right so we've talked about we've covered a lot of ground today we've covered a lot of stuff so let's talk about it, getting this stuff implemented into your business so hopefully I've given you enough information in this workshop that you can take away what I've given you and you can start to apply. And uh, I think if you use the, the letter that I gave you a few days ago and you use the email follow-up sequence, 
then you take some of this specialization and then high fee stuff, premium fee stuff, and you, you start to apply it to your business, that's going to put money in your bank account. You're going to see a difference in your business and you're going to see uh, more money coming into your bank account, right? But obviously, this is pretty much a, a one hour training or thereabouts, and I'm pretty limited to what I can do on that training. So, if you'd like more help with this, if you can see the value of what's going on here and you can see how this could actually impact your business in a positive way and it makes sense to you, then I do obviously offer a premium training on all of this stuff. Now, that training is called More Clients, More Results, and uh, this is where we go step by step on how to implement everything that we've talked about into your business today. So if you'd like step-by-step -step help on how to actually implement this into your business and in a way that's very formatted, it's very structured, it's very step-by-step, -step, it's very easy to follow and it provides you with all of the materials that you need, it provides you with the templates, it provides you with the step-by-step -step help, how to do it and it does all of that in a very, very structured way that's very easy to follow so it removes all of the stress, all of the confusion all of the overwhelm, as much of it is done for you as possibly can be and it gives you an absolutely clear roadmap for you moving forward in your business and to start getting clients immediately, then this training is going to be absolutely perfect for you. This is going to be for you. So if you're just not sure where to get started or you've just got no idea right now how to generate clients, then this is going to be perfect for you as well. If you're a little bit confused about where to go next, what to do next, what steps to take in your business, then this is going to work really well for you as well because it's step by step. So it's also going to be good if you're an established agency and you need a systematic way to generate new business that's not referral based, right? This is, I talked to a lot of agencies and this is typically the problem that they face. And it was a problem that I had for a long time too was business comes in from time to time but it's, it's referral based or it's JV based stuff like that so if you're looking for a way to move out of that to where you have a systematic way to generate new business without referrals then again this is going to be very good for you as well I think you're going to get a lot out of this training so this training retails for $5,500 and uh, that's what it sells for all day long. I've had a whole bunch of people buy it for that price, but uh, you're not going to pay that price today. I've got a very special webinar discount for you today. So let's just go over it quickly, what it actually is, and then we'll get to the very discounted price for you. So let's cover exactly what's included in the training. So here we are inside the training portal, and I just want to go over this very quickly. As you can see, it's very easily laid out. So once you log into the membership portal, then you start out my uh, watching this video here that's going to give you some very clear instructions on how to work through this material so it's broken down into six weeks each week is very uh, step by step so it's uh, it's week by week step by step within each week and as you can see if you come into each weeks as you can see it's broken down in a very organized way for you so if we want to run through the weeks very quickly so week one we're going to start with an overview we're going to look at picking the niche this is very very important uh, we're going to talk about setting your fees. So what should your fees be? Why should you be charging the fees that you're charging? All of that kind of stuff. And uh, we're going to look at the mindset required around expert positioning. So this is going to be very, very important stuff here. So that's week one. Week two, we're going to start with an overview. Then we're going to go to creating your irresistible messaging. So we, we talked about that a little bit. So we want to create a message that prospects really can't say no to. So that's going to be very, very important for both LinkedIn and direct mail. We're going to want to have messages that are people find it really very difficult to say no to and very easy to say yes to, such as uh, the person being in the desert being offered water or the person on the back of the plane being offered a parachute, very hard to say no to those offers. We're going to talk about updating your LinkedIn profile, we're going to go through all of that. Um, we're going to talk about creating a consistent web presence, so to make sure that everything's uh, lines up, there's no inconsistencies, that's going to be very, very important as well. Uh, and then we're going to talk week two, we're going to start to prepare for prospect in week three. So you're also going to get a whole bunch of additional sales collateral, which you can see these are all templates, which you can just download and modify for, for the niche that you need. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six or seven pieces of uh, additional sales collateral there, that, which we can use next week. So as we prepare to prospect on week three, that's when we're really going to start to see the results. We're going to, going to start to see leads come in for sure week three if we're doing uh, as instructed here. So jumping into week three, we start out with what makes people buy. This is extremely important. So we've talked a little bit about that in this training. We've talked about uh, urgency and uh, your positioning and all that kind of stuff. So we go into that in a lot more detail. So that's pretty important, don't you think? What makes people buy? If you understand that, then we can start to position ourselves in a way that responds to that. Then we start to do the email sequences, the messages for LinkedIn, right? So you get the templates, you get all of that stuff. Then we actually start prospecting on LinkedIn. So as you can see, we actually go into my LinkedIn account here and we go through uh, messages that have email chains where we go from taking a cold prospect to actually them paying the invoice. And you can see I go through it inside of my account. I actually show you 
exactly what I've done, exactly what's said, and you can see over and over again the process working. So it's going to leave you with no doubt, A, that it works, and B, you're going to see firsthand exactly how it works. So once you can see that, it gives you, uh, it really makes it easy for you to go out and do it yourself. So we go through a number of examples where uh, I simply go through the whole process inside of my LinkedIn account. I really don't hold anything back from you here. I give it all to you. So then we're going to talk about following up. So that's very, very important. Uh, most of your most of your sales are going to come on the follow-up process so that's a really really important really important thing there and then I'm going to show you how to track all this stuff so you're going to be generating a whole bunch of leads for sure and uh, the problem you're probably going to have is keeping up with the leads that you're generating so I give you a tracking system that allows you to keep track of that which is really simple really easy to use and then I'm going to give you some additional tools that you can use that makes the whole process a little bit easier as well so that's week three we're out prospecting week three on LinkedIn and like I say you're going to get the templates you're going to get everything you need just copy and paste to do this stuff and you're going to see real examples of it where it's actually turned into business week four is an introduction to the direct mail so uh, we're going to talk about direct mail. We're going to talk about why you should use direct mail. There's a, there's a lot of good reasons why. You're going to get the current letter that's really working well. Uh, so you just download the letter, modify it for your own purposes. And uh, this is the most up-to-date letter that's really producing great results. We're going to talk about list building for, for, the, for the direct mail. So this is, uh, we've got to build a list of people to send our direct mail to, right? So we talk about where to get those names and addresses from and how to build that list. That's very, very important. Uh, as, as you now understand who we who we target is as important as what we're doing or anything else right so we're also going to talk about the envelope that's very important as well so the, the letter's got to be opened if you can't get your letter to the right person and if you can't get the letter opened it really doesn't matter what message is in the letter right so we talk about the envelope and then we talk about putting it all together so everything you need to get up and running with direct mail is in week four Week five is a very, very exciting and very important week. So we're going to talk about getting the sale. So this is pretty much going to be a week of sales training, right? So uh, we talk about setting up the consultation properly. Very, very important. How the person shows up to your consultation is really important. We need them to know who you are, what you do, uh, the benefits that you can offer, and they need to have an idea that it's premium pricing, right? We don't want people showing up thinking that it's nice and cheap, like you're the Kmart or Walmart of uh, the digital marketing world, and then when you give them the price, they suffer from sticker shock. So some, some additional assets you can use here. This is a paper that I've used that you can just modify and use it for yourself. Then we talk about conducting the call. So this is the actual consultation itself, and you can see this is a little bit of a longer video. So uh, this is how we actually conduct those, those consultations when people are interested. We're going to talk about how to get a yes on the call. We're going to talk about locking the deal down once they say yes and making sure you get paid immediately and all that kind of stuff. We're also going to talk about what to do if they request a proposal. So I've pretty much got a, a no proposal rule, right? Uh, I don't generally give a proposal. Uh, and there's a very good reason for that. It's just going to waste a lot of your time and a lot of their time. So if they ask for a proposal, then I show you how to deal with that. And if, if you do, in fact, end up sending a proposal, then I've got a template here for you as well, which is not going to be your standard proposal. It's going to serve the purpose that we want it to serve. So that's week five. Week six is going to be uh, it's going to be about outsourcing, scaling your business, that kind of stuff. What options are available to you as far as outsourcing? I said I've got uh, recommendations and stuff like that for private clients. Well, this is where all of this stuff is. You know, we've got all of the resources that are available to you. How to measure your success? How to test what you're doing? Um, how to scale your business up once this is working well for you? And just some final thoughts as well. So that's pretty much the. Uh, that's pretty much the six weeks. So it, as you can see, it's step by step. You just go through week by week and uh, you just follow the video one at a time. Start here, work down, do, do what each video says before moving on to the next one. And if you do that, then you will assuredly be generating leads week three, week four. So that's exactly what's included in the training, right? As you can see, it's, it's step by step. It's very easy to follow. It's very formulaic. It's very templatized. So there's going to be no confusion or no overwhelm in implementing that. So as I said, that retails for $5,500 for a one-time payment of only $19.97, or if you would like to, you have the option of making four payments of only $638. So, so there should be a link on this page somewhere now, either it's actually in the screen or maybe just below the screen. I'm not sure exactly where it is, but there'll be a link somewhere on this page. So if, if you want to enroll in this training now, click on that link to enroll now. Now, that's not all I'm going to give you today if you enroll today. So I've got some webinar bonuses as well that I'm going to include in this training for those of you who... Uh, 
action takers and are willing to take action today or wanted to take action today. So the first bonus that I'm going to give you is I'm going to give you 10 pre-built landing pages that are in highly profitable niches and I've used all of them personally to generate business and they're tested, proven and they're very, very effective. So the average conversion rate on these landing pages is 32% to cold traffic. So if you do want to run traffic to it, then these convert extremely, extremely well. So here's some examples. I've kind of blurred out the text here a little bit because the copy is what's really valuable but you can just see some examples of what these pages kind of look like. Like I say they're very very effective, they're pre-built uh, and they're in 10 very profitable niches, there's 10 of them. So you can use these with direct mail, Facebook, any kind of paid traffic source whatsoever. So they're landing pages that you know are going to work and you know are going to work immediately, right? They're going to start generating leads immediately. And they come in the form of unbounced templates, so you just need to upload them into unbounced. There's a little video showing you how to do that. Very, very easy. So, so those templates retail for $397. You're going to get those at no charge. They're going to be yours free today. The second bonus I'm going to offer you for those who want to uh, enroll today and take advantage of this offer is I'm going to give you a list of top niches to work in. So again, it's just a list here of niches that um, are very profitable, that I know for a fact people are getting great results in. And if you're not sure about what niche to go into, then this is going to be a great place to start. Pick something from, uh, from this list and go from there. It's going to be uh, very, very helpful. It's going to save you a lot of time. Now, the value of that is priceless. I'm not sure what price I would put on a, a list of profitable niches that you can go into. Now, so bonus number three is I'm going to give you access to my contractors. Now, they're going to be able to pro provide for a limited number of people. They're going to be able to provide case studies, results, stuff like that, everything you need to succeed. So if you want to go into a niche and you're, you, you're not overly experienced, you're just starting out at this and uh, you're looking for some case studies to help you out with, then for a limited number of people, then uh, my contractors are going to be able to help you out with this and be able to provide you with that kind of information, case studies, results, stuff like that. So that's going to be fantastic if you're just starting out and you're looking for a head start. So basically I'm providing you with absolutely everything you need to succeed here. I'm giving you the direct mail piece, the proven sales copy. I'm giving you the list of niches that you can go into. I'm giving you all of the email sequences for, for LinkedIn, which are just copy and paste. I'm giving you the direct mail templates, the uh, the latest updated versions, which we're using right now that are converting really, really, really well. I give you the strategies to do this stuff, uh, give you the sales training that you need in order to uh, speak with the prospects confidently and to turn them into high ticket clients. I basically give you absolutely everything you need to get started here in one complete training. So this has worked for students like Brian who said I've just recorded a testimonial yesterday after getting client number two. Thanks again. Your program rocks. I'm right on schedule for my goals this year and can realistically see them being surpassed using your training. Or Galeb who said client responds, asks for agreement, signs back immediately, $2,000 onboarding fees, $1,500 a month. I mean week four, can't wait to see the results from the direct mail now. Thank you Cody. So I just want to let you know that time is actually a factor here. You don't want to wait until all the best niches are totally saturated before you get in on the game and you decide to do what it is that you need to do. So you want to grab your piece of real estate right now while it's still available. Get the best niches and uh, and, and get going. Get your feet on the ladder while it's still early on and those opportunities still exist for you. Because to be perfectly honest, the longer you wait with this stuff, the harder it's going to be to get a foothold. This is a really, really hot industry. There's a lot of people coming into it and there's a lot of money to be made. So this is going to be a case of the earlier you get in, involved with this and the earlier you get a foothold then the better it's going to be because later on down the road it really doesn't matter if it becomes uber competitive or not because you've got your clients you've got your client base you've got your reputation you've got everything you need right so it's much much easier at that point so it's still early days out there there's still room for a lot more people to come in this this industry and there's still room for a lot more money to be made right but that simply isn't going to last forever people are going to pile into this people are going to uh, take this opportunity and, and the sooner you're able to do it and take it advantage the better it's going to be for you so just common sense should tell you that right I'm not telling you anything that you don't know so, so I want to make this an absolute no-brainer for you if this is something that you're interested in and this is something that you want to do so you don't have to wait to get started you can get started right now if this is something you're interested in so what I'm offering you here is all the training I'm offering you all the proven templates I'm offering you the list of niches I'm offering you access to fantastic contractors who can provide you with great case studies if that's what you want 
and I'm doing all of that for it's more than a 65% discount. Like I say, you can access this today for one payment of $19.97 or if you prefer, you can do four payments of $6.38, entirely up to you. But like I say, this is a very limited time offer. This program sells for $5,500 and it's not going to be available at those discounted prices for very long. This is a 65% discount for a very limited amount of time. So let's just review the numbers again very, very quickly before we finish. So one client at $1,500 per month, assuming you can retain them, is worth $18,000 per year. So if you add only one client per month, in 12 months, you're at $216,000 per year income. So you take your contractor fees out of that and you're still making $180,000, $190,000, something like that. It's a lot of money, right? So if you can add two clients per month, then now you're at $432,000 per year. So all you need to do is to add two clients per month and you're now getting close to a half a million dollar per year income. Now add four clients per month. Now this is going to be for the people that own agencies and stuff like that. Now now you're adding a million dollars to your business in a year. And things are going to start to get really exciting for you at this point because now you've got a serious budget to invest in growing your business. And that comes from adding four clients per month, which is very achievable if you put the time and effort into it, right? So, and that's charging $1,500 per month. Now that's a bare minimum. I charge a lot more than that these days. I'd say my typical price is probably around $2,500 for a PPC client. So you can absolutely definitely charge more than $1,500 a month. That's for sure. I'm just saying that's your basic starting point, right? So my point here is you don't need to get really big results from this to make a really big income. When you're charging premium fees, then, then you can get great results from small results. When you're charging premium fees, then small results consistently are going to get you to where you want to be. You don't need to get the massive amount of results. If you're only charging 500 a month or something like that, you need a lot of clients. So again, adding one client per month is going to be life-changing for most people. If you're adding a couple of hundred thousand dollars to your income, that to be honest, is going to be life-changing for, for most people, really. And that, hopefully, as you can see, is actually very doable. It's very achievable. Uh, and hopefully, you can see that just based on the training that we've gone through today, right? You can see that once you uh, shift what you're doing, that it becomes considerably easier to bring these clients on board. So if you want this training, now's the time to take action before it's too late. Like I said, it's a limited time offer. It's not going to be open for very long before it goes back up to 5500 And the shopping cart's open now. There should be a link uh, somewhere on this page. It's somewhere around here. Just click on it uh, and sign up now. So like I say, all you've got to do from this is generate one client to be ROI positive. That's it. If you can generate one client from what I've shown you here and what I share with you, if you can generate one client from the training program, then you're going to be ROI positive. And hopefully you can see from what we've covered today and what I've already given you that getting one client really is a no-brainer. It's a very easy thing to do. And of course, if you can do that, if you can do it once, if you can get one client, then there's no reason you can't do it 10 more times, right? You can get 10 clients and then 20 clients and then they go wherever you want to go with it, as many as you want. And that's it. So I really hope to see inside of the training. I hope you take advantage of it. I'm really looking forward to seeing your business grow and getting some new testimonials from you as well. So that's it from me. I hope you found that uh, very, very informative and very useful. And like I say, hopefully I've given you some stuff here that you can really take away and apply to your business. By the way, uh, the lead magnet that I promised you in yesterday's video, uh, that's going to be emailed to you. So check your email. I haven't forgotten about that. Uh, if you if you watch this webinar, if you signed up, then uh, I've got a little piece of software that tells me you signed up and that's going to be emailed to you. So if you didn't watch it, you won't know anything about it. You won't. You just won't get it. So thank you very much and I'm really looking forward to seeing you all again soon in another training or in the training program. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.